So you clicked on this video and you want more FPS in Roblox. If you also know Blockstrap, you're gonna be wondering, what is this guy talking about? Something that's better than Blockstrap? And yes, in my opinion, it's better than Blockstrap. It just has some more enhanced features that Blockstrap doesn't have. It's called Fishtrap. And Fishtrap is a Blockstrap fork that's aiming to enhance some of the features. It recently just got updated and shout out to ReturnQT for making this. Before we get into this video, I'll answer most of the questions that most of you guys will say. Is this safe? Yes, this is safe. Will this get me banned? No, it will not get you banned in Roblox. Is it a virus? No, it's not a virus. So if you're new to downloading Fishtrap, then what you have to do is in the link in the description, you're going to want to go to the net 6.0 desktop runtime first so that um, Fishtrap will run in your system properly. Once that's downloading, we're going to go to the second link that's uh, Fishtrap. And when you clicked on the link, you're going to go to this GitHub page. And once you're here, you're going to want to scroll down and click on the latest releases and then scroll down again. And in assets, click on fishtrap.exe. So once they're both downloaded, you're going to want to go into your folders and then you click on downloads and then you'll see Windows Desktop Runtime and fishtrap.exe. You're going to want to click on Windows Desktop Runtime first and install that. Once it's done, click on close. Then go back to downloads and double click on fishtrap. Over here, I'll bring you through the installer. So just go through it. When you're at completion, click on install and launch Roblox. Once Roblox has been launched, you're going to want to close it. And it should show a little fish trap icon over here. You're going to want to double click it. Then once this shows up, you're going to want to click configure settings. In integrations, make sure to enable activity tracking. And in query server location, this will notify you what server you're in. Player logs, this will show players joining or leaving your server and don't exit te desktop app this will close the desktop app when you leave the game in discord rich presence you have show game activity allow activity joining show roblox account i'll show the screenshot right here of all the discord rich presence uh settings enabled now when you go to bootstrapper you're gonna see prompt to confirm when launching another roblox instance allow use of unsupported roblox languages rename roblox to euro trucks so this will enable ansel for roblox clients it's basically like shaders for roblox and then we have multi instance launching this works as well but it may cause issues with um, the desktop app and then in deployment make sure automatically update fish trap is checked and roblox upgrades is also checked as well make sure to not touch any of these unless you know what you're doing then go to mods Click on open mods folder over here. You're going to click on fish trap at the top and then double click on Roblox player and then you scroll down until you see Roblox player beta.exe. You're going to want to highlight and right click, make sure to copy it and then right click again, click on properties, click on compatibility, make sure disable full screen optimizations is checked and then change high DPI settings. Make sure override high DPI scaling behavior is performed by application. Then apply and okay. After that, you're gonna wanna search up graphics settings. Over here, click on browse and then do control V, which will paste the Roblox player beta. Click on add and it'll show Roblox game client right here. You're gonna wanna click on it, click on options, click on high performance and save. Then close out all of this. And then in presets, this is all um, personal preference if what you like. So I would like the old death sound. You could also want older mouse cursors, old avatar editor background, old character sounds, um, and different emoji types. If you scroll down even more, you can also use custom fonts as well. And then when we get to the fast flags, I'll show you the best settings for FPS. And here, make sure allow face trap to manage fast flags is checked. And then scroll down. Presets, make sure to disable Roblox telemetry as this will give you more privacy for your account. In flag state, we're actually just going to skip that. It basically just shows the fast flag that you pasted in here at the top left to see if it's defined or undefined. And then open rendering and graphics. Scroll down, make sure MSAA is set to automatic. Disable play shadows, enable that. Disable post processing effects check that disable terrain textures also check that 
So frame rate limit, you can set this to any frame you want. So for example, I'll do 120. Preferred lighting technologies, put this to voxel phase one. Preserve rendering quality with display scaling. Make sure that's uh, left unchecked. Rendering mode, over here you can either pick Vulkan or Direct3D11. If you have an old PC, use Direct3D10. So overall, I'll just use Direct3D11. Texture quality, make sure to set this as level zero, as lowest. Once that's done, open user interface and layout. Check disable full screen title bar. This will disable the bar that's showing at the top of your screen. And Chrome UI, when this is disabled, Roblox will use the old top bar. So this is what the old top bar looks like if you want to use that. But overall, I'll leave Chrome UI as checked. Hiding UIs, if you're interested in hiding UIs in game, then what you can do is go to the Roblox website. Over here, click on groups at the left. Once you're in a group, you're going to see the link of the group right here. You're going to want to highlight all the numbers and then you copy that. After that, you're going to want to delete the zero and then just paste it. Font size, I'll leave this as default. Once you're done with that, open Roblox menu. So this is basically just debloating the Roblox menu. So for me, I don't use a VR. I don't really use a feedback. I don't pick the language. I don't really use haptics because that's only available in controllers. Frame rate cap, I already have a FPS uh, set, so I'll uncheck this. Chat translation, I'll just leave it to that. If you want to go even more advanced and achieve higher FPS, then what you're going to have to do is in the pinned comment below, you're going to want to join my Discord server. Then once you joined, you're going to want to scroll down and click on settings. After that, I'll bring you to these FastFi list V16, which is my latest ones. So over here, what's new is just updated hardware rendering of video textures, more occlusion, cooling, removed graphics fix since patch, and faster loading. So we have max graphics quality, high graphics quality, optimal graphics quality, low graphics quality, lower graphics quality, lowest graphics quality, and worst graphics quality. I don't recommend using worst graphics quality as I imagine people using it only for testing, but if you really want to go as low as possible, then use lowest graphics quality. So for me, I'm just going to pick optimal graphics quality as an example. So you're going to want to click view whole file and then select all of this. After that, click on copy and then go back to the fish trap settings. Scroll all the way up, click on fast flag editor. Once you're here, click on add new, import JSON, right click and paste. Click on okay, click on yes, click on yes again. Once you have this, you can actually save it to your profiles. So I'll name this optimal graphics quality and click on okay. And if we go to load, it'll show right there. And after that, you can go into appearance and you can change how face trap can look like having light theme or dark theme, change the language, the bootstrapper, style, icon, and customization. Then if you go into shortcuts, you can see first is extract Roblox icons to folder. And then below that we have general. So we have the desktop icon and we have the start menu icon right here. In the functions, you can add the launch Roblox and face trap settings. So I'm going to click on save. It'll actually show up here, so double clicking on this will launch Roblox, and double clicking on this will launch the settings. And if you're curious of what test mode does, this will basically make it easier for you to test uh, the fast flags that you have. So if you enable it and then close, it will start Roblox automatically. And once you did all the testing, this and that, you're going to want to close and then it launches the settings right there. Congrats, you made it to the end. Thank you for watching this video and reminder to please like and subscribe to me before you leave. I'm not sure if I can revert back to Blockstrap, but if they have a really big update, then I might switch back. Who knows? Anyways, if you reach this far in the video, type fish in the comments because the launcher is called Fish Trap. Also, just a little fun fact of the reason why the owner named it Fish Trap is because he saw his friend playing fish while thinking of a name. Once again, thank you guys so much. I'm close to 1k subscribers, so just make sure to click that subscribe button. Anyways, peace.